the task of angels is that they protect by directing they protect by directing protection through direction one of the ways that the angel of the Lord protected Hagar is by giving her the right directions not by necessarily giving her a miracle we see exactly same thing how Jesus was protected is when the angel came to Joseph and gave Joseph directions he didn't took Jesus supernaturally from the place where Jesus was and relocated him to Egypt the angel came and gave him direction and Joseph got up during the night he didn't wait for three days to get confirmations he didn't consult everybody he didn't just simply say maybe I ate too much pizza Joseph got up quickly and he got protected because he followed directions wise men were about to send sensitive information to the wrong people and the angel of God came at night and protected them from getting into the shady business with Herod by giving them direction we see that everywhere in the Bible the way God protects with his angels is by giving you direction not by just shielding you you can't go to a club expecting God's protection if you're struggling with drinking you can't go to pornographic sites expect not to fall into pornography expecting God's protection we can't put yourselves in a compromising situation and expect God's blessing when we simply disobey his direction it's kind of like Lot being in Sodom and Gomorrah and the angels come and say Lot this city is going to burn you know and what we would do in Lot's shoes we say Lord you want me to get out of this city but I want you to save this city I want you to bless this city God I want you to bless my mess and God says abandon it because it's so broken sin is so twisted it can't be blessed what can be blessed is if you abandon it and you follow my way then I can bless it can somebody say amen God can protect you if you will be open to his direction the moment you reject his direction when it comes to your single life when God says to value purity he's not trying to take your fun he's trying to protect you protect your heart from being heartbroken protect your body your finances protect your future when God is asking you to put him first in your finances he has no need of money he has gold made streets God is protecting your finances by directing you when God is asking a husband to love his wife even when he doesn't feel like and a wife to honor her husband even if he doesn't act honoring God is protecting a marriage by directing a marriage when God is asking a kid obey your father and your mother and honor them God is not saying that so that he can squeeze fun out of you he's saying that so he can put brownie points into your college life into your finances and into your future he protects you by directing you you want God's protection it's not Geico it's not Allstate it's direction that's why when Paul met God his first question to God was what would you have me to do I'm headed to Damascus to kill Christians God says I'm giving you brand new directions the same location you're not gonna kill them you're gonna join them and Paul says yes sir and that's how he went many people today they want God's protection rejecting God's direction rejecting God's leading rejecting because God's direction is painful because God's direction might not make sense must understand every time God leads you every time God leads you he's always protecting you you might not get an extra blessing but you don't know how much mess you will avoid you may say but I got into complicated situation listen you don't know what complicated situation is when you follow God he protects you amen